Hey, welcome back to the everlasting good old channel. So, I'm gonna do what I've been doing, or I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. Yeah, yeah. I've been baiting you guys day in and day out, and I know you guys really want me to jump on a train. So, we're gonna go. Washington Street is. Um. Which way did I come in early? I fell asleep. Okay, so we gotta go this I gotta go this way. And later. Woo, don't hurt yourself over there, Junior. Alright. Later, my friend. I got a new subscriber here. Take Hell yeah. Well, uh, did you ask me to ask my live streamer or my. Any, uh, Mexicans. Mexican support, Mexican yeah. Hell yeah. I'm a, a good one, alright? You too. Likewise. Thank you. Nice car. I like it. <laughs> All right. Do I go this way? Wait. I'm going to ask him. Washington is this way, right? Washington Street is this way? Okay, I was going the right way. La 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 la. So, um, I'm a little bit rested up, and I'm I'm capable of uh, traveling some more. It's nice and warm. It's like uh, high 60s now, or mid 60s. Hi, sir. What happened? They stole my bicycle. Somebody gave it to me. Why? Why did somebody steal your bicycle? Bus ticket. I was going to Wisconsin. Did you somebody, lock it up? I don't have a bicycle. It is a bus. B U S. Bus ticket. Greyhound. Bus ticket. Going to Wisconsin. Steal my ticket, have my cigarette pack, celebrate behind me, go to the bathroom, watch my stuff, my zipper on, my zipper on, cigarette going, and my ticket, quiet. Well, I'm sorry, there's nothing I can do about that. No, you can't. I'm sorry. Would you have a lighter for a cigarette? I'm sorry, I don't. Later, my friend. Bye bye. Oh, no. But yeah, um, I'm going to go ahead and do what I got to do, and hopefully you guys uh, like what I'm going to do. Hell yeah. What up, buddy? What up? All right. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. All right. We'll see, you, uh, we'll see you where I need to see you. Well, shit. I, I got to make it to the store. I gotta get me some caffeine. I can't deal without caffeine, yo. I can't. Uh, I gotta have my Coca Colas at least one a day or something. And then I've been fiending for cigarettes. And this is gonna be a De Niro cruncher. And then on top of that, I'm gonna go find a shithole somewhere. I do. And boy, I got to poop. Hopefully this family dollar up here has public bathroom usage. Because, hi dog. Hi. Morning. Morning, buddy. Morning. Hi. Hi. Ah! Ah! Oh, I love dogs. Dogs are cool. But let's keep moving. Let's march on. Tom keeps marching on. You know that song? Yeah. That song plays over and over in my head. Time after time, too. That, that song, too? But yeah. So, um, 
I was sitting at, I was, uh, I, I slept at the train tracks, which is pretty freaking cool. I like it. <clears throat> but yeah, um, let's march on. We'll meet, we'll link back up potentially at the tracks. If not, I'll just keep moving down the highway. I may just have to jump on, um, shipping containers. Yeah, the shipping containers, man. Because here is nothing but suicidals. Nothing but suicidals and, um, formerly known as junkers. Yeah. I don't know what the hell this is, but I'm going to go in it. See if I can go shit, take a nice healthy dump, and I'll see you. I'll see you on the flip side of things, my friends. So yes, I've been uh, sitting under here for a little while, and I'm about to go and get some uh, food. See if I can scrounge up some stuff to eat. Uh, I need some smokes, obviously, and um. Coca-Cola. That's one of my things. So, I was doing a live stream, and a lot of people didn't understand that you can actually, you guys can actually probably see, uh, it's kind of hard to see it. Um, there's a identifier up there. And I hear a car. Oh, well. Um, there's a signal up there, so, and so there, that means there's a, a crossing. Heck yeah, that's roughly about over a mile, a little over a mile. And lately, there's been short trains. There was one long train, but it ended up going that way, where I'm pointing you guys to. So yeah. Uh, where that car is, there's a light there. Another, um, uh, well, it's one of those ding, ding, ding crossing stuff. But, yeah, this is pretty much what's going on and what's good. So, um, what I'm going to do is ask for a ride. And if I can't get a ride, then... I'm coming back here. There's no point in trying to hitchhike when you definitely know there will be a train sooner or later that's going to stop here, which would be awesome. Um, yeah, let me scurry up the hill and try to get some food. I am hungry. I'm tired of ra eating ramen noodles day in and day out, you know? I'll eat out of my bag more often if I had better food choices. But, let me, let me just get out of here. Skedaddle, right? Hell yeah. We'll talk about the safety and, the safety of, um, train tracks. These type of train tracks. And, um, probably not in this video, but next, um, upload, if I have time. But yeah, let's go. Let's go get something to eat. It's too dark to use the GoPro, but I am very sorry that uh, you're limited on what you can see. Uh, morning, people. So I rode about 23 miles or 22 miles in the uh, dark. <clears throat> Boy, I freaking tell you what it's a total different experience riding at night time like literally uh, but I like riding at night time no let me take you off your head uh, it's not um, it's not really a bad experience but when you're tired 
and your mind is fixated on getting to your spot, everything gets uh, synced into line. But when you have your bright light on and you're focused and I head towards the end of the ride, your body feels weird to me to me it feels weird but I like I enjoyed every bit of it it's a totally different experience at nighttime than daytime if you've never done a bike night or a bike tour at nighttime you should try it <sighs> but yeah this spot's all uh, it's gonna be in the um, guidebook Hell yeah. Whew. All right, folks. Let me get to packing and I'll see you soon. Well, we're back on the road. So, we've got about 26 miles uh, to the last town before Oklahoma, which is gonna be great, awesome. Shit like that. Ugh. Man, I don't like this type of rodent, but it's okay. I take whatever they give. Ugh. I don't want to start out too rough. Take whatever they give, right? It's one of those things. Dude, I should have walked around a little bit. My legs are a little stuffy, cramped, sore, whatever you want to call it. I think uh, we go a little bit of west. Or do we stay straight on this road? I don't know. Oh, God. I tell you what, the winds that are coming from the south is a little bitch. I don't like it. Uh, it's, yeah, it's coming from the east, I think, I think we all uh, have a better luck of going uh, west a little bit, I don't know, I'm going to stop at the rest area and take a gander. Okay, we safe? We're gonna stop at the rest area and take a gander of our Mapalonis. Um, that looks like 400. If we was gonna go west, that uh, road 400 would be our road. Clear plum to Wichita, but we're going to Tulsa to see y'all. We're gonna be on Tulsa time, yo. Uh, uh, thank God we're not going east. The winds are prevailing pretty good. Uh, winds. Winds, winds, wind, the wind, the wind, the wind. Winds, winds, wind. Wind, wind, wind. It's a loser, loser, loser situation for me. It's 
it's a loser, loser, loser situation. I'm gonna have a hell of a time pedaling forward. <sighs> if it uh, switches on me to the to the south, coming from the south to the north. Headwind sucks, bruh. It's not one of the easiest things to pedal in. It can last up to a whole day, an hour, six hours. In Kansas, you can forget about uh, having a good day. Because this is going to be your good day for the majority of the part. Strong headwinds. Yup. I'll be black. All right, my friends. We we are officially in Oklahoma. In Oklahoma. Uh, that water tower is the state line. Man. The wind picked up heavily over here. It's like 18, 19 miles an hour. I try to have it in third gear all the way. Um, I got the uh, the front end of the sprockets uh, tuned up to third gear now, and it's, uh, it's just too strong. I'm gonna make it. Hell yeah, I'm gonna make it. Uh, I'm gonna tell you the truth. I cheated uh, for the 20 something miles. Actually, it's not 26. It was uh, I had 14 miles to go and I cheated from the 14 miles. I said hell no uh, I'll be in Tulsa by next week It's not as easy as you think it is, but it's fun. When you when you don't have headwind, it's awesome. But a challenge this life, this bicycling touring life challenges your ego, your pride, and most of all, it actually does challenge your Capabilities. Yeah. So about 17 miles that way is a truck stop. And I'm gonna go and try and help that I can get to it. And the cool thing about a truck stop, they're open 24 hours, so who cares? Who cares? Instead of an hour and a half, it's going to take me about two, three hours. About almost three hours to make 19 miles because of the uh, strong headwind. It's alright. You'll be there when you get there. Yeah. Look at these trains. Train, train. That's going north. Uh, the wind is not going to die down anytime soon, so I might as well take my time and try not to push it too stupidly, I guess.